Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Sony RX100 and Sony A6000. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Sony RX100 and the Sony A6000 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 28th of August 2012 and the 23rd of April 2014. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Sony RX100. For portrait photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Sony A6000. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Sony RX100 and the Sony A6000. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Sony RX100. And here are some sample photos from the Sony A6000. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Sony RX100. The Sony RX100 is a game changer for me. As a photography hobbyist, I have found the camera to be a remarkable addition to my gear. The sensor and lens combination provides fantastic image quality, even in low light conditions. The camera's manual control, special modes, and ability to shoot in RAW mode offer a lot of flexibility and creative options. The compact size and portability make it a great alternative to a bulky DSLR. While it may not have all the features of a DSLR, it definitely holds its own and has become my go-to camera for everyday use. I highly recommend it to anyone who loves photography. I have tried out numerous compact cameras and super zooms, and in my opinion, the Sony NEX5N and Canon SX260 super zooms are the best choices for overall quality and versatility. The Sony NEX5N is fantastic with usable ISO 6400 but has a cumbersome interface. The Canon SX260 has a great zoom and can fit in almost any pocket without worry. Overall, these two cameras are very difficult to beat in terms of stills and video quality. Here's what people have to say about the Sony A6000. The Sony A6000 is a fantastic entry-level camera with great price, compact size, fast shooting and autofocus, lens compatibility, solid construction, wireless features, and useful apps. However, it struggles in low-light situations and has a poor battery life. Overall, it's a great camera for beginners and a good backup for professionals. Overall, my experience with this camera has been mixed. The electronic viewfinder is great, but it struggles in bright sunlight. The Sony Play Memories app is frustrating to use, and the memory card is difficult to remove. The picture quality is fantastic, and the camera is a manageable size for travel. However, the menus are complicated, and the built-in flash is not powerful enough. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Sony RX100. We will give it an overall rating of 7 out of 10. Sony A6000. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 